teenage ghost. Woohoo! So, before we get started with the summary and review, I would like to thank Chloe Miles, who's the author of the Faded Trilogy, for sending me all the books in the trilogy free of charge in turn for me doing an honest review for you guys. So thanks Chloe. Faded, the first book in the Faded Trilogy, is about a teenage girl named Savannah. Savannah and her three friends get in a car accident coming home from a party and they basically die. The good half of this is that it's a group of four spirits and they protected the town since the 1930s and they have a variety of abilities. First of all, they can control the weather. Also, they can heal things, including the dead. So they heal Savannah and her friends. They also become chosen ones. And a chosen one is a being that can change from spirit form to human form at will. Not unlike all stories, with great power comes great responsibility. Basically, the chosen ones are the only ones who can beat the forces and the forces once were chosen ones but decided to go all dark side and they have been wreaking havoc in the town and, and they are after all the people that they know and love so Savannah's life gets very complicated it gets even more complicated when she falls in love with one of the spirits who is named Hunter and things are really crazy when you are one of the few people that can actually see your boyfriend. Yeah, Savannah's life got real complicated. So in my opinion, Faded is just a lot of good, clean fun, and it's a great thing to just kind of pick up for fun and read. First, what I found refreshing about the novel is that it is written in third person, which I know sounds weird to think that's really exciting, but you have to admit that most young adult books are written in first person, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong about that. I love the step two, but it's nice to read something in third person just because you get to see more characters that way instead of just seeing one or two people's point of view. I also like that the book sets a mythology at the beginning of the story, you get all the rules of the mythology, and it is kind of a different uh, take on the ghost type story. It does kind of mean that at the front of the book there is a little bit of exposition, so it might take people a little second to get into the book at first, but there's not that much of it. It didn't impede my reading. I would prefer that people set rules at the beginning of their story for their mythology than not set anything at all. There are several characters in there, but it doesn't feel like there's too many, which is good. The book kind of takes time at the front of the novel to really explain the personalities of the characters and what they're about. Sometimes I would have preferred that the author had shown more what the personalities were about than tell me. But I would rather somebody take time to tell me what a character is about than have characters that are, are like stick people with names. Also, as the book went on, there was more show to tell. So I really appreciated still that the characters were characters and had different personalities and I still enjoyed that. What I love about Faded is that it does have a lot of different relationships. I like that the relationship between Hunter and Savannah is interesting and it doesn't feel forced. It really develops naturally throughout the story and I like the kind of people that they are because they don't just get so in their bubble of love that they forget about everything else. They're really focused on thinking about other people. So I think that's great about their relationship in the story. But I also like the book explores other types of relationships, either different relationships that are romantic relationships that aren't just Savannah and Hunter. And also they explore a lot of the relationship between you and your sibling and also you and friends or having to get used to working as a team because this is a very team type novel. So it's very cool to see the dynamics of the relationships because in life you have all sorts of kinds of relationships. And in terms of the supporting characters and villains and other things, 
in the story. Everybody gets their own focus moment. It's not just about Savannah and Hunter. It is about the whole group and everybody gets kind of their own chapters and things and have their own things going in their lives. So you're getting a lot of different characters, focuses, and elements and so it gives you a fun vibe because you're not just thinking about one thing. But it never gets um, it never gets like discombobulating. You never get mixed up about what's going on. There's very good separation of what's happening. This book has a nice balance of fun scenes and action and romance all thrown in there. So you get a little bit of everything and that sort of feeling made me really think that this book would actually be a pretty cool TV show for preteens and teens because it does have that element thought. It felt kind of like a TV show to me. So if anybody ever wants to make a TV show out of Faded, I would probably think that was wacky fun. Overall, I enjoyed the experience of reading this book. The only potential issue I could see people having with it is that it is very much written in a style that is very geared towards preteens and teens. So it might not work for some adults. I thought it was wacky fun to read because it reminded me of a lot of the books that I read as a teenager and still occasionally pick up things like the Roswell books or Fearless or the early Vampire Diaries novels. So if you like those type of books, you will definitely enjoy Faded. And I think if you're a preteen and a teenager, you will probably definitely enjoy this. I'm very intrigued to read the second and third book because I really do want to see where the relationship between Savannah and Hunter is going to go because it's not the normal paranormal romance relationship because that ghost thing puts an interesting spin. Like, where can that relationship go? <laughs> On to the reading. Savannah met the others at the lake again the next morning. The spirits thought that it would be a good idea for the chosen ones to know as much about the forces as they possibly could in order to protect themselves from them. Obviously, they are all dangerous, Rose told them. But what you have to realize is that they are all dangerous in their own way. Both Chad and Griffin are large and powerful and let their fists do the talking so to speak. But Gwen, she is something different altogether. Gwen plays mind games, said Hunter. She will manipulate you, use blackmail, turn those closest to you against you. The list goes on. Chad and Griffin might be powerful, but they are the least of your worries. What they want is complete power and they're not going to stop until they get it. Oliver added, thing is, they thought they had it. And then all of you came along. They feel threatened and their natural instinct is to attack just like a cornered lion would. Hunter, you said that since the forces know who I am, then everyone close to me will be targeted. Savannah reminded him. Is there any way we can find out who they will target and stop them before they do? I wish we could, he admitted. Finding the forces in human form is the only way to defeat them. So that was my review of the first book in the Faded Trilogy, Faded. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and got some info on the book and maybe you're interested in reading the book. I at least enjoyed it. I have made a book playlist for this if you want some music to read this book by. I have left the link in the description and I will probably leave it on the screen as well. So check that out if you want some music to read by. And thanks again to Chloe Miles for sending me this book so that I could review it. And I will see you next week with another video. Thank you for watching. Bye!